here. He's been here more than 10 years, but his first year as the head coach, he just kind of moved his way up. He started as the ops guy, which is a guy you can't even coach. So he's done a great job here in his first year. Man-to-man -man defense for Idaho as Bergeson throws it over the top, the alley-oop. Allegre, the high-flying dunk to start this one. And that's a great start for Allegre. He struggled the last couple games, and you can see Coach Riley wants to get him going. Transfer from UNC Greensboro, and Anderson can't handle the pass from Christensen and a vandal turnover here. One more look at the opening play of this game. And you're so, you're so worried about Ventures there coming off for a three that his man couldn't help off. And um, great play for Coach Riley there, drawing that up to start the game. Eastern averaging 75, almost 76 a game. Idaho averaging 73 a game. We expect points to be scored. Venters against Quinnette off the window. Those two played AEU basketball together for three seasons. That'll be an interesting matchup to watch. Dixon, Anderson. Both teams coming out in man-to-man. -man. That's Smith, another transfer, he of Grand Canyon. Quinnette open for a three, not there, and Allegre with it. Venters. Yeah, Eastern Washington the last couple games to kind of try to get the ball inside. We'll see what they try to do to start this game off. Venters open for a three over Quinnette, and he got it. And what a great season Venters is having. Great shot there. He's able to come off the screen on a clean look and knock it down. Five nothing, quick start for the Eagles here. Anderson, screen from Christensen. Quickly down the lane against two players, and what do we got off of one of the Eastern? That's the big man, Price, the young man from England at 6'10". He's a rim protector. Yeah, Price has had a fantastic year. Started every single game for Eastern, kind of Mr. Consistent, and only a freshman. Really like this team that David Riley has put together for the Eagles. Anderson down the lane, off the window. Price affected that shot. He had to put it up a little higher than maybe he wanted. Second chance for the Vandals. Rashad Smith with it. Now inside, and it's laid up and in by Christensen. The former U-High Titan with the first basket of the game for the Vandals. Yeah, good seal, seal right there by Christensen. Move Price up the lane, was able to get a nice easy bucket. McLeish throws it over the top to Allegre. Ventures, you can't help off of him, and he missed that shot, fortunately, for Idaho. Here come the Vandals. Anderson, he'll handle most of the time. Dixon really plays the off guard unless Anderson's on the bench. That's Mikey Dixon with it. Fake right, left down the lane, contact off the window and scores it. How about that drive by Mikey Dixon? Yeah, great drive right there by Dixon. Used his body to get into Price and just bounced right off and was able to finish it. Steele, Smith, ahead to Anderson. A Cleese trailing the play, blocks it from behind. Dixon gets it and lays it up and in. And that's why you run the floor right there. Dixon did not let up, kept running the floor, block shot, was able to get a layup for Idaho. It's amazing, the athleticism of players. You never used to see shots getting blocked from behind on layups, on breakaways, as Venters will take the three, can't get it. But now you see it all the time. Anderson, Smith, thought about a three. Anderson penetrates. Can't get it to go. Cleese with a rebound. Pretty quick pace here to this first quarter of play. Bergeson down the lane, Price will Shoot the three, and he buries it. And you know Coach Riley's liking that. His big man stepping out, hitting the three. It just opens everything else up if he's able to knock those down and kind of stop the bleeding right there. 6-0 run for, for Vandals. You can hit, you can hit the three-pointer if you're the five-man. That just changes everything as Dixon is fouled on the shot. And Allegre called for the foul. First foul on the Eagles Eagle here. Especially with Christensen being in there for Idaho, he takes up so much space inside. If you can get him out of the key a little bit, it'll just help open things up. But great move right there by Dixon. Ball fake, one dribble pull up and got the foul. Vandals have been a little short staffed on their inside players. Christensen missed the early part of the season. Didn't play in the first few games. Then Philip Peppel, their other 6'10 player, was seen considerable playing time. Has not played recently, did not play against Montana State. And Michael Hanshaw, who is dressed, has missed almost the entire season. Those are the only three guys 6'5 or taller. And two nights ago, Zach Claus only had Tanner Christensen available. 
Ethan Kilgore, who you will see later in the game, and even Gabe Quinette had to play the five. And we'll see how that affects Idaho moving forward because Eastern's a big team. They like to go inside. Price, Ferguson, Allegra inside of Cleese. Got away from Smith but lost the ball. Here comes Anderson. Vandal's looking to run in this game. Hands it off to Smith. Inside Christensen, backs it down on Price, rolls it up and scores it. Christensen already with four. Thursday night against the Bobcats, he had just two. Yeah, great seal right there by Christensen. Used his body, went over his left shoulder and just was able to finish. Vandal's back in front, Eccles the three. My goodness, if he starts hitting that on a regular basis, now you're talking about the Big Sky Conference MVP. Yeah, both teams are off to a great start, moving the ball, scoring the ball. Man to man defense, Smith open for three, <laughs> lost his defender. Yusuf Salih into the game with the offensive rebound. Dixon is a magician with a basketball in his possession. Back to Christensen. Unlike Price, he's not going to shoot the three pointer on a pick and pop situation. Smith with three on the shot clock, two. And it's the Idaho Montana games are just packed with students, and with them not being here, it's kind of been a bummer for Eastern. I've always said the big sky needs to figure that out to get those, you know. Yeah, rivalry games in. Yeah, at least at least they didn't play the first Bobcat Grizzly game of the season yes. today. Yeah, yeah. With Montana State playing in the national championship, they did move that to Sunday. So they figured that out. But you gotta play rivalry games when the students are here. I'm sorry. I yep. just that's 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 of major importance to me. And uh, you know the fans. Correct. Yeah. It makes the game totally different. Right. And I'm not just saying that because it's here. I mean, you know, Sac State and Davis shouldn't play without students. Yeah. Considering those are two schools that are so close together as Allegre knocks down a three. So it jammed to open it and a three-pointer. And just like that, he's turned up five. And that's good for Allegra. He's been struggling lately. Got it early with the dunk, saw it go in, was able to knock down a shot. And we'll see what Idaho does here. Their guard play has been great so far with Dixon and Anderson. Anderson on the drive, and he'll be fouled on the drive, non-shooting foul. Ellis Magnuson has checked into the lineup, and he picks up the foul. So it's Eccles, Allegre, Ferguson, Magnuson, and Venters. Salee, Smith, Christensen, Dixon, and Anderson. Salee handles. Anderson will elevate from a three, and he got it. He's more than a point guard. He can score as well. Good shot by Anderson there. A little jab step, get some space, knocked it down. Idaho need that. Magnuson. Interesting, Ellis' dad played football at the University of Idaho. I always wondered who dads rooted for when their kids played their alma mater. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I have a good. Good idea on that one. Yeah, I do too. At least for as White while Ellis is playing. Yeah. Anderson, Salee penetrates, cut off, lays it off. Nice pass that time. Christensen can't finish. Got his own rebound. Find the open man, Salee for three. Can't get it this time. Christensen on a foul. He didn't like the call, but it was the right call. And you could see Venter's length there on Christensen. Came up, blocked it from behind. Six. Six seven point guard with probably a six nine wingspan, just able to get up there and change the shot and make Christensen miss that. You don't have too many of those long guards in the Big Sky League, like Ventures is. No, I, I I thought Christensen did a great job to grab the rebound and then find the open man with the pass, but then the commits the rebound foul, and he has to stay out of foul trouble for Zach Claus's team to have a chance in this game. Yes. Ventures, Magnuson. McLeis, Peppel is into the game now. An offensive foul, going to be called on Ellis, and just like that, bing, bing, he picks up two quick fouls. And I couldn't see that one. I don't know if it was an off arm or a shoulder. And Lace, uh, Mason Landek checks into the lineup. A young freshman, instant offense off the bench. This kid can really shoot it. Really shoot it, and he plays hard. 
Yeah, he knows one way to play, and it's, he's going hard. Anderson, Peppel sets the screen on Landick. Smith. Dixon, ball knocked away from him by Bergeson. It's a tough assignment for Bergeson here against Dixon. Bad pass that time, two on one. Landek finds Venters, three on the way. Got it. That's one of those ones you're like, do you shoot it? And it kicks it out. It's good if it goes in. If it doesn't go in, it's not so great. But great shooting right there by Venters. Knocks it down. And Landek, smart with it. Saw a bigger defender on him, decided to kick it out. And Yep, a quick steal right there. Really good heads up pass that time by Landek. It was two on three when he got to the rim. And Venters ran the floor. He didn't stop. No. He kept going. And we yeah. talked about that earlier with Idaho able to get that offense rebound on the fast break block. And, you know, Dixon finished it. We had a delay. I think one of our officials kind of holding the back of his hamstring here. He called the timeout, and then he reached over and tied his shoe and just kind of took his time trying to flex that leg. Anderson off the screen, can't get that to go. The rebound is Price. Three Eagles were there for it. Yeah, good shot there by, by Anderson. Claus ran a great play. Two screens coming off, just missed the shot. Landek all the way around the horn. Now lays it off to Bergeson, can't finish. Peppa with those long arms, might have got a piece of it. Dixon, Anderson, three on the break. Nope. And Bergeson with another rebound. And here come the Eagles, man alive. The women's game had a fast pace to it, so does this one. Venters down the lane and lay it up. How about that, Steel Venters? It's not that they're not getting good looks, they're just not going down. Um, it's kind of been a game of runs again. Eastern started it, Idaho went, and then Eastern's back on it. We'll see how Idaho responds here. See what Zach Claus does out of the timeout here. Smith will take a long three-pointer, and he gets it. And finally, the three-pointer is open as Rashad Smith with it. That's a big shot right there for Rashad Smith. Knocked it down, quick jab step, got some space, and knocked it down. Price to handle, back to Bergeson. He'll go baseline. Can't get it to go, but fouled on the drive. Good first step by Bergeson. He did, he got his defender worried about the ball screen. As soon as he saw his, defender, his defender's eyes look at the ball screen, boom. Went left and was able to get a foul, and now he's shooting two free throws. On the season, the young man transferred from Central Arkansas. It's the first one, shooting 77% on the season, his first one. Yeah, he's really come in at Eastern Washington, done a fantastic job. He scores, he passes, he rebounds, a little bit of everything like a Cleese does. He does have Northwest connections. He did go to high school in Boise. His dad was a great player in the state of Washington, high school player, and then went to Boise State, Roberto Bergeson, and he's on the staff. I grew up watching him when I was when I was in junior high and he was in high school. He was as good a player. I thought he was under-recruited coming out of high school. He was, and then you had Michael Dickerson right there with him right. and Quincy Wilder. Missed the shot. Nice play by Kilgore to punch it ahead, and it's blocked from behind by Venters. And there's Venters again, using that length and athleticism. Landek, Allegre. Seven point lead, Price inside against Peppel, and he scores. What a nice left-handed jump hook. That is so tough, and Price is only a freshman. Good steal and good left-handed hook. Nine point lead. It's about what happened to Idaho two nights ago. Game was tied at 13, and Montana State went on an 11-0 run. Smith down the lane, can't finish. Peppel puts it up and in. Peppel using his big body, able to finish it down low. Quickly back the other way is Allegre. Peppel out of Shoreline High School in Seattle. Allegre. Airballed that one. That's all you can do is just take a deep breath after you miss that one and say, all right. Yeah, you got to tell yourself next one's going in because <laughs> yes. you, you had a dunk, you hit a three-pointer, and then an air ball. So yeah. you, you can't let it let you down, especially not at the defensive end. You got to work that one and earn that one back. I think that's the hat trick of shooting, isn't it? A dunk, a three, and an air ball? Dixon's shot is blocked that time. Bergeson, here comes Venters. 
Down the lane, can't finish. Kilgore with a rebound. Good be take there, but he had to go around the defender. I know to get great job walling up in the paint. You had better be in shape today, because I think this is going to be a track meet. Salee, Smith, three-pointer. Got another one. Rashad Smith, back-to-back -back threes for the Vandals. And just like that, it's down to a four-point lead. Yeah, Smith, great shooter. Catching it, looking to fire right away. Landek down the lane, cut off. Try to get it into Price, does. Finds Landek, eight on the shot clock. That is a shot he is not going to miss 95% yeah. of the time. Great move right there by Landek. Didn't force it the first time, brought it back out. Price was able to get a ball screen on him and get to the middle and shoot it. He kind of plays like the former Eastern Washington player, Danny Perso. Yeah. Dixon, Kilgore. Ethan Kilgore can't get it, danced it on the iron, and a rebound by Allegra, and here come the Eagles back the other way. Eight and a half remaining here. Allegra just out of control that time. Dixon, and he'll take it himself and lay it up and in and count it on the foul. I thought he was going to get it ahead to Smith, and he kept it himself. And we'll go to the line for one. Yeah, good take. I think Ventures thought he was going to get a foul right there. And that's just a tough one. Landek has to know he's already at the cup right there. Unless you're going to take his shooting arm off, you probably want to let him go. Uh, Steele Steel making his case to our official. He's not going to get it. There you see Zach Claus, the head coach, in his third year with the Vandals. He is an Eastern Eagle player. Yes. He played here for Steve Aggers. Yep. The free throw is good. Seven for Dixon in the game. As I, I talked to Zach before about playing here. He has very fond memories of playing here and playing for Coach Aggers. Ferguson. Price. Christensen back into the game now. Ventures. Big screen, big shot, not that time. Wouldn't go, Christensen with a rebound. Here comes Anderson, who's back into the lineup. Quinette has returned as well for the Vandals. Kilgore. Yeah, so we'll see if they go back into Christensen. He did a fantastic job to start the game off. Kilgore penetrates, a couple defenders come to him. Now Anderson, Quinette catch and shoot three. Not that time, and Venters grabs it. That's a good look for Quinette, drive and kick. Wide open in the corner. Landek for three, left it well short. Salee, here come the Vandals quickly back the other way. Quinette again. Boy, he just can't get that shot over the front iron. And those are good looks. Transition, walking into a shot. You're in rhythm. He's just leaving it a little short. And we'll see if they go right to a Cleese down low. Quinette in playing the four now. That's a tough spot for him. McLeese, open man is Price, and he got his second three of the game. Great pass right there by McLeese. Christian double teamed him, able to be patient, kicked it out to Price, and Price made him pay again and knocked down his second three. Price with eight, including a pair of threes. Venters with eight, a pair of threes. Quinette off to Anderson, takes it in the land of the tall tree. Salee, Quinette. Anderson and Dixon all shoot better than 35% for three. They are combined 0 of 6 in this game. Landek, Ferguson. So defense here for the Vandals. Yeah, trying to switch it up on Eastern, not let them get set up, whatever they were planning on running out of the timeout. Nine on the shot clock. Inside, McLees against Christensen, can't get it to go. Great position, just couldn't finish. Yeah. You said it right, great position down there. Got solid position down low, spun and just threw it off a little, little short on the, the left-handed hook. Cleese hit that early three and has been quiet since. Hands to Quinette. Salee, three on the way, got it! Yusuf Salee hits the three-point shot and just like that, it's a one-possession game and a three-point lead for the Eagles. Idaho dropping back into that 2-3. 
Cleese inside on Christensen. This time he'll put it up and he can't finish again. But the loose ball is picked up by the Eagles. They'll get a second chance here. Benners to Price. Got a hand on it. Might have been a foul, no call. They're letting it play here today. Salee steps into a two, got it. Back-to-back -back buckets by Yusuf Salee, and it's a one-point game. It's a one-point game. The zone has slowed him down. Eastern got some good looks, just weren't able to finish. Two inside possessions and just couldn't get it in. Akles missed one, Price the other. Landek. How did he get that pass to Venters, who puts up a three? Not that time, and the Kilgore with another rebound. Ethan Kilgore at 6'5", plays way bigger than he is. He's in there every possession, rebounding, offense and defensive end. Anderson now gets a screen from Christensen. Salee again, too long on that one. Had a good look, though, just a little bit too long. He did, he had a great look, and he made the last two, so you better shoot that. Ferguson just puts the ball on his hips. David Riley up calling a play for the Eagles, and now they'll get it set. This zone is causing them some problems. Price slips inside, inside against Christensen, put it up, and we got a foul. Going to be on Tanner Christensen. No shot, so it was with the body before, and that'll be his second foul. And Easter has to do a better job punching those gaps in the zone. They're letting the zone push them farther out which makes it harder to get the ball inside because they're farther out on offense. So they got to continue to try to punch those gaps and move the ball while Idaho's playing that zone. Well, and, that, and that's why Ellis Magnuson is back in the game, a really good point guard with those two fouls. But David Riley says we need some help against this zone. Triggered inbounds, what? Got a whistle away from the play. I believe on Anderson. Holden, yeah. Hold the Bergeson down there. Trevante Anderson is first. Just 14 fouls on each team, so we're well away from shooting the one and one with 438 remaining. Six straight points, seven straight points for Idaho here. Magnuson. Now Idaho's gone back into a man to man. Landek against Quinette to the rim, can't finish. It'll be a two shot foul. Quinette with a foul. And we talked about Landek. He's not going to go slow. No. He's going to go hard and fast, and that's exactly what he did. Picked up the foul on Quinette there. And for his size, he plays bigger than he actually is. He's probably 6'2", 6'3", out there, but man, he is fast, and he is aggressive on the offensive end. So he'll go to the free throw line. First foul on Quinette. Landek, an 85% free throw shooter. Had an interesting route to get here. Yeah. He's from Zilla, played at three Washington high schools, and then played his senior year in Salt in uh, Utah. And he's made, made his, uh, his footprint felt here at Eastern. Had a huge game versus Wazoo when they beat Washington yeah. State and started a couple when Akles was hurt. So he's, done a, has, he's had a fantastic freshman, freshman year so far. Four points for him. Smith comes off the screen. Casey Jones is checked into the lineup. He is guarding Smith. Salee into Pemple, backs it down on a Cleese. Doubled, finds the open man, Salee, but Easter recovers nicely on defense. Salee, off balance runner. Great defense by Eastern on that possession. It was, they didn't gamble, they just stayed in front. Inside, Bergeson tried to throw up a wild shot. He got a rebound and puts it back up and in. Good finish there by Bergeson. Missed the left side, the ball magically came back to him, was able to finish on the right. Ferguson now with four points in this game. Um, getting some good looks. But there's also been defense here in this game, Mark. And that's, I mean, you know, you can run it up and down the floor, but if you can play defense, you can limit people. Yes, and Eastern's done that the last couple of possessions. I don't know how to stretch of that for, you know, three or four minutes when they got back into the game. Dixon and Anderson play catch. Now Salee gets involved, that's Dixon. Back to Anderson, he'll elevate for a three and beat the shot clock. He looked up and saw the shot clock and let it go, and Anderson has his second three-pointer. And that sometimes that's what you need. You know, you don't have to think about it, you just shoot the shot because the clock's going down. Landek in time, Akles. Landek 
Man, alive, that kid can shoot it. He can, and great screen right there by Akles. Sealed the upper part of the zone, and that allowed Landek to get into the key and shoot his jump shot wide open. Anderson, Landek, boy, that took some guts already with two fouls in this game, and you jump in and take a charge, wow. Landek off to a great start this first half for Eastern Washington, taking charges and scoring points. Anderson picks up his second foul. Magnuson will come out. Jones comes down. Price comes out. Actually, yeah, Allegre. There's a little bit of confusion. No, Price is going to take it out. They both went over to the bench like they were coming out of the game. They were taking it in. So Price stays in with Allegre, Landek, Akles, and Ventures. Four starters on the floor. Akles trying to get it inside, tipped away by the Vandals, Anderson. Here comes Dixon. Yeah, good look there by Akles. Just held on to it a second too long. He couldn't determine whether he wanted to shoot it or pass it there. Screen by Peppel. Anderson against the Akles in the mismatch. Smith's hit a couple of threes already. He has him. Surprised he didn't take that. He had the height advantage in the corner. Screen. Dixon takes it in. And he can't get it to go. Price going to be called for the foul. Yeah, great job right there by Dixon. Getting it into the defender's body. Slowing down, letting run him to him, and then taking the shot. First foul on Price. Dixon will go to the line where he had 11 straight free throws in the game the other night, two nights ago. Well, if you want to score, you got to be able to hit free throws, especially in the big sky. Eighth point of the game for Dixon. He was at a point, and he hit him in a, in a short period of time. Danny Sprinkle. The head coach of Montana State walked over to the scores table and goes, does this guy ever miss? Well, he hasn't missed this weekend. Nine points in the game for Dixon, three of three from the line. And a two-point, one-possession game. Landek finds Allegre, steps into a three, and got it. And that's big for Allegre coming off the bench after he had that air ball the last three-pointer and shot it with confidence. Great pass by Landek to get it to him in a shooting spot. Five-point lead, Dixon, out of Smith. Smith drives on Akles. Good job by Linton, defense, and here they go ahead. Akles will take it, can't finish, and we got a foul going to be called. Yeah, good defense right there by Allegra. Was able to tip it out and run, and they pushed it. That's Jamel King who picks up the foul, who just checks in. Yet another one of the transfers. So Dixon transfer of Grand Canyon, Anderson from San Francisco, King from Bellevue, Nolan Bertain, who's not here tonight, unavailable, transfer from Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Peppel from Southern Illinois University, Evansville, and Smith from Grand Canyon. Six D1 transfers for this Idaho team. And it's tough. It's tough to get them on the you know, same page. Players come in with their own expectations because they're transferring and want to get a, you know, a fresh start. And, and so it's tough to buy in. You know, Eastern's been fortunate that they have Steel Ventures that's been here, kind of roadmap how to be successful, and he can help lead them. You got uh, Akles from San Francisco State, Allegre from UNC Greensboro, and Bergeson from Central Arkansas. But that's, that's the modern college not just basketball, any sport any anymore. Sport. You get one free, one free transfer. Yeah. King down the lane against Bergeson, and he lays it up and in. That was a good finish there by King. Bergeson did a good job. Slow down a little bit. One minute left in this first half. Bergeson will handle here against Salih. Allegre. Get a quick shot here, they get a two for one. Akles, Venters, left it short, but an offensive rebound, reset on the shot clock. Back to 20. Ferguson for three, not that time, and a third chance. Still can't run out the half. Boy, the Idaho coaching staff is up really in encouraging their team on this defensive end. Third possession here, three on the shot clock. What do we have? Offensive foul going to be called on Steele Venters. 
Good rebound then right there by Eastern. Just Idaho played great defense, man-to-man -man defense that time. And Idaho has 12 seconds left to get a good, good, good shot here with their shooters. They're more than capable of doing this. Dixon, now Smith. That's King. King dribble drive, cut off, but he comes up and gets the shot to go. And Bergeson from Gabe Cornett's grandpa and grandma live within three miles of this building. Backdoor cut, Anderson, a great pass, and it was blocked, and even better defense with Christensen with a great pass, and Eastern comes up with a stop. Yeah, great, great play set up right there. We have Bergeson just finishing and blocking the shot. And if you're Idaho, that's not the way you want to start a block shot and then a three-pointer for Eastern. Can't leave Vanders open from distance. The Vandals did. They threw the skip pass over the top. Six-point lead. Dixon inside Christensen. Going in on Price, muscles his way, can't finish it. Good job by Price to hold his ground. Yeah, that's not an easy spot. Christensen's a, a big boy there. Bergeson with a quick jump shot. Six for Ryland. But if you're Idaho, you're getting good looks down there. I mean, you got a layup that was blocked. You know, probably should have got up a little quicker, and you got Christensen posting up down low. They just got to try to eliminate Eastern's fast break shots. Smith with a three, his third of the game, and he's keeping his team in it right now. He is. He's keep, keeping them in. He's made some big shots and some big points. Yeah. It's one thing to make a three. It's one thing to make it when you need a bucket like that. Allegre, Venters, Eccles against Christensen. Nice pass to Price. And Smith grabbed him as he was going to the rim. Smith tried to get the lobby for the call for it to be on the ground. It is not. And Price will try and complete the three-point play. And that's just two bigs working great together. Moving, seeing each other. Akles doing a solid job taking his time down there, was able to drop it off for Price for a possible and one. Problem was with Akles and Price on the floor, then Smith at 6'5 has to guard one of those guys as Price misses the free throw. He's in double figures at 10, though. And Idaho is a little limited on their interior defenders. Quinnett inside to Christensen, backs it down against Price and lays it up and in. I think we figured out what Idaho wanted to do at halftime, get the ball inside to Tanner Christensen. And we'll see if they can stay with it, because they did it to start the first half and kind of got away with it, you know, and they went right back to the second half. Venters, good job by Smith on the help defense. Price against Christensen. Christensen's already got two fouls in the first half. Eccles against Quinnette. Dribble it off his leg, and he'll throw it up. And he was just trying to get something towards the rim. He knew he couldn't throw it back into somebody else. That's actually a heads-up play by Eccles. Yeah, he's falling out of bounds, trying to shoot a, the old Larry Bird shot yeah. over, <laughs> over the glass. Good defense by the Vandals. See if they can capitalize on the other end. Quinette, Dixon elevates for three. Got it! Dixon shooting it better than 46% from three-point land, and he's got his 12th point of the game. And he came off that screen with one thing on his mind. He was shooting that ball, and he knocked it down. Venters trying to penetrate. Good recovery by Quinette on defense. Now they'll throw it to Price. Allegre comes off the screen, will take the three. Not there. Eccles with a big offensive rebound, and he put back. That was a big rebound. Eccles goes up between two Idaho players, snatches it out of the air, and finished it. Idaho pushing it back the other way, trying to get a post up right inside of Christensen. Well, they're not helping on that defense here. Christensen can't finish. Tipped by Eccles, picked up by Allegre. Down the lane and lays it up and in. Allegri with his 10th point of the game. 11 for Venters, 10 for Price, 10 for Allegre, and it's a six-point game. And that's how Eastern's been getting their leads. They're pushing it off turnovers or missed shots, and Idaho's not getting back. Dixon might have forced that free throw line jumper, and it's knocked off the hands of Christensen. Yeah, it was a tough one, but his last one went in. You know, you're feeling good. Got a clean look. 
Had to rush it a little bit, but still got a good look there. Clace will bring the basketball up the floor. Out of Bergeson, Allegra. Try to get it inside to a Cleese, and somebody kicked it. They'll re no, they will not reset the shot clock with 16-13. They do to 20, I apologize. So 20 on the reset. Heppel comes in, Christensen will sit down. Quinnett checks out of the game, Salee back in. And Salee gave them a great spark that first half, and we'll see what he does coming in the second half. Allegre, Venters comes off the screen, long two-pointer. Air ball, but a Cleese is there for the putback. Second big offensive rebound basket by Linton Cleese. And that's what he does. He battles down there, he gets positioning, and that's why he's one of the top scorers in the Big Sky. Reigning Big Sky Player of the Week for what he did last week, average 22 and a half. Down the lane, Price! Help side defense, blocked by Smith. Here comes Venters. Bergeson, Cleese, all kinds of time. Had too much time. Rebound, Allegre, though. That's the not the guy you want shooting if you're Idaho, and he buries it on a second chance opportunity. And Eastern doing a great job using their height on the offensive boards. They've done the last four possession. You know, it's given them double the shots now, and the person you don't want shooting three pointers is Venters, and kicked it out and was able to knock it down. Idaho's got the stop, they just can't get the rebound. Anderson lays it off to Peppel. Nice passing inside by the Vandals. It was good passing there and good finish there. The last three Eastern baskets have been a Cleese offensive rebound, a Cleese offensive rebound, and the offensive rebound set up the Venters three. Ferguson down the lane against Salee, and he lost. They got back into it. You know, they're down nine now, but they were able to stop Eastern last possession and see what they do. Anderson, Dixon. Eastern in that zone, they switch it up. You yeah. know, Idaho is expecting man. Now they gotta switch their play up. Slow them down a little bit. Good move right there by Coach Riley. Kilgore, now Anderson, three, and he got it. Boy, you play great defense, and then a guy just steps up and knocks down an eight, a 21-footer. And that's two times for Anderson hitting threes. And his shot clock doesn't have to think about it. Has a little space and knocked it down. Six-point game now, Venters, so dangerous on the perimeter. Magnuson handles. Allegre, he'll take the three. Peppel gave him a little bit oh, of room, man. and he great buries shot. it. Yeah, great shot for Allegre. He's shooting great right now. You know, had Bergerson kind of down there, sealing, but had the space and knocked it down. He's feeling it. He is certainly third three-pointer of the game for Allegre. He's now got 13 in this game, back to a nine-point lead. Peppel back it down against a Cleese. Now Anderson. Splits defenders and then rolls it up. Boy, that was a quick shot. He just couldn't finish. And if you're Anderson there, you know, you knock the three down, but you still want the ball to move a little bit. And there's Bergeson, and one, taking it to the cup off the left hand, floated yeah. it up. If waiting to see if the official said the basket was is good. Kilgore on the foul. And for the first time in this game, it's a double-digit lead for Eastern Washington. Yeah, good hesitation there. Drawed his defense out, faking the three-point shot off the dribble. Quick hesitation. Drove middle. Gets an opportunity for, you know, two points and, and a free throw. Just moments ago, it was a two-point lead. Or three-point lead. It was a one-possession game as Bergeson finishes the three-point play. He's got nine. Great balance scoring for the Eagles here. And they're going to continue to get better, Eastern is, as far as, you know, their chemistry like we've talked about. they got a lot of new faces. But this is some of their players, you know, first time being this Big Sky Conference play. Salee open for a long three, and he got it. Great extra pass there by Kilgore. Had a shot, but gave it up to the shooter. Allegri with it, a three, comes right back the other way. And Allegri feeling it. You know, had a, you know, had a tough shoot night versus Montana. Came back today, ready to, ready to score. Venters with four three-pointers, and now Allegre has four for Eastern. King. And well, I know Coach Riley's been preaching, hey, we got to be able to knock down some shots, and they're doing it this game. 
King step back three. Really nice job by Allegri on the glass that time. Magnuson off to a Cleese. Tried a little Magic Johnson no look pass there. Vandals come up with it. Anderson all the way down the lane. A block shot. Salee picks it up and buries a three like it was. In Eastern 11 of 22. It's a shooting clinic going on here. It is, and it's especially the way Idaho started. Their, their three-point percentages, they've really stepped it up this second half, shooting well. Vandals have scored 20 points off of Eastern's nine turnovers, but the other side of the coin is Eastern has outscored Idaho in the fast break, 18 to five. Magnuson pump. Biggest lead has been 12 of this game. Venters sidestep the defender, lays it off to Price, and he'll be fouled as he goes to the window. Yeah, good patience right there by Venters. Popped out, maybe should have got into his defender's body and got three free throws, but decided to drive and then drop it off to his big for Price. I really like what they're doing on those out-of-bounds plays, just having three guys stacked up top. They run different options off it, and it's been quite successful today. Kilgore picks up his second foul. So Price putting some foul pressure on the interior of the Idaho players with back-to-back -back fouls drawn as he hits the first free throw. He'll get one more with 11 points. Five Eagles have scored at least nine in this game. Three are in double figures. Yeah, it's been a, a collective group for Eastern Washington. Every different players are stepping up. Their starting five is playing huge. If you're Coach Riley, you like to see that. Landek already also has six. Only six Eagles have scored in this game. And it's back to a double-digit lead at 11. Eastern going back in that zone. It slowed Idaho down. The length is causing Idaho some problems in this zone. Over Allegre, the three on the way, and Kilgore hits it. Big shot right there by Kilgore. Keeping Idaho in this game. They seem to keep stepping up and make big threes. Well, when Bergeson and Venters are playing on the outside of the perimeter along with Allegre, well, that's 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 length. Price, boy, you just can't leave him open from out there. You can't. Three for three three pointers. You know, this afternoon for Price, making it big for Eastern, keeping the big guy out of the paint, especially when they have Christensen and Pebble. King turns faces, fade away. Oh my. He's had some tough shots and he's made them. <laughs> Two to end the first half and that one right there. He's stepping up and making big shots. Six points for King, who's starting to get a little more rotation now, kind of fitting in. Another one of those nine new faces. Venters fakes the three on the deck into the window and scores it. Steele now with 16 in the game. Yeah, still using his length. Quick Euro step and then got it on the glass so Pebble couldn't block it. Well, if you can if you can dribble drive like that and you can hit the three, you're so dangerous. King tried to turn the corner and got hooked a little bit by Bergeson, and he'll draw the foul. King coming, giving the the Vandals some great minutes. He's being really aggressive. Hit he's hit three tough shots. And now he's creating contact and getting fouls on Eastern. Christensen returns. Pebble will sit down. So it's King, Kilgore, Christensen, Salee, and Anderson. Just two starters on the deck right now for the Vandals. Now they'll trap into this zone defense. Boy, Anderson trying to get that call. You see when the contact came, he threw his head back. Yes. He saw, he saw Ventures was a little late, created the contact and sold it. And that's what you got to do. Try to get the other team into one-on-one -on -one as quick as possible. Anderson triggers and bounds to Salee. Back to Anderson, elevates for a three. Too hard, the rebound, Allegre. Ahead to Bergerson. Between the leg pass to Venters. A little showtime there. Landek down the lane, can't finish. Venters with the offensive rebound. Bergerson for three. Nope. Again, Eastern getting some extra looks, getting good offensive rebounds. Now you got Idaho pushing it the other way. Anderson down the lane, can't finish. Ball's tipped around, now Salee for three, in and out. Boy, nobody's wasting any time getting up shots up right now. Bergeson down the lane, can't finish, Kilgore with a foul. And Eastern continues to push it. 
even on a made shot, they dribbled up a couple times and just decided to push it up. And, you know, you can't let the guy get a, the ball right away on the wing and go one on one. You got to be able to slow him down. So Bergerson, who three for three at the line, is one of those with nine points. He'll get two more here. Came into this game averaging 13 and a half. And we talked about, he's just, he's one of those glue guys, you know, 13 and a half points, almost six rebounds, four assists, you know, one and a half steals. Kind of does all the little things. Like a Cleason, when you have two guys, and there's his dad right there, uh, Roberto Bergerson, doing a fantastic job helping out Coach Riley's staff and a legend at Boise State and Decatur High School. Did you tell him, you told him you used to watch him when you were a little kid? Oh, yeah, so my older brother used to play against him. <laughs> okay. So when he got the job here, I texted him, congrats. I was, I, so some guys, they, you know, when guys say, hey, I used to watch you as a kid, that's not necessarily a compliment, it just means they're old. <laughs> No, I used to actually play against him when he was playing overseas. When I was in high school, he'd come up to Tacoma. So he was a great player. Saw him play the first time at the state tournament, the Decatur Gators. Yes. He was a lot like his son, Ryland. He, was, he did a lot of things. He scored, but he rebounded. He passed the ball. He was a great shooter. And he could fill it up. So that's third foul on Steel Ventures there. It's a big foul for him. Yep. So three on Venters, first eagle to have three. King rolls it in. Seventh point of the game for King. He came into this game averaging just under five a game. And we talk, he's been a huge, huge spark for Coach Claus's Idaho Vandals. He's really stepped up, hit three tough shots and able to knock down two free throws. Nolan Bertain is not, did not make the trip with Idaho up from Moscow. So there's been those extra minutes, and King has stepped into those nicely tonight. Ferguson fakes the pass, lays it off to Price. Oh, he can't finish the dunk. Christensen might have got a piece of it. And then King is fouled at half court. Well, I thought Price was going to get ready for a rim rocker there. He was. He was. He, he set up for it, but Christensen's a big boy. You got to go over him. And he just came up a little short. Good drop off right there by Bergeson. Yeah, good D right there by Christensen, contesting it at the rim. I know if that was me, I would have been dunked on. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of people would have admit that. Yeah, but you would have went down the other side and hit a three. We know that would have happened. King with it, hands to Salee. In this zone defense by Eastern. Seen a lot of it from David Riley in the second half. Smith, King. King just going too fast, somehow got it back. Smith with a three and he buries it. And Landek, who had fallen down, Smith landed on him and they're gonna call a foul. This is gonna be a four point play opportunity. Yeah, big turnaround, big offensive rebound there for Idaho, giving them the extra possession. Probably a good hustle by King, kicked it out. And that's a good call, even though Landek slid underneath him. You got to give him time to land. He was just going for the basketball. That's yep. just wrong place, wrong time. Mason's third. And Smith has got four three-pointers in this game. And Idaho continues to hit key three-pointers. Can't get it to go. Down to an eight point lead again here. Idaho will just not go away. Magnuson. Calling for a screen here. Now we'll get it off the land deck. Idaho going back in that zone. Trying to slow Eastern down. High post Price to the window and scores it. Boy, Ethan Price playing with great confidence in this game. Nine points in the second half. Great confidence and just continues to make the right decision. Doesn't force things, takes his time. Putting on a shooting clinic here tonight. Quinnett, Salee, three on the way, contested. Uh, what do we got? We're gonna call, they're gonna, they're gonna call Dixon with a flop warning. Trying to draw the foul, he flopped. 
That's the first on Idaho. The next one will be one shot. And we haven't seen too much of Dixon. I mean, he's their leading scorer with 13 right now, but he hasn't been in the game too much, and we'll see how he finishes up these last eight minutes. One shot in the second half, a three-pointer. He had nine in the first half. Allegre trying to get it inside to a Cleese against Smith, and he scores it. And what a great seal right there by Eccles. Taking his time, working positioning, got the ball right over his left shoulder and just knocked it right in. 12-point lead. Vandals need a bucket in the worst way. Smith trying to get it to Christensen. He saved it. 10 on the shot clock. That's King. King trying to drive in. Good defense by Magnuson, and Allegre has it. And Magnuson yelled, slow it up. And that's what the Eagles do. Idaho needs a stop here. They can ill afford to go down, and they get it. I was going to say they can't go down more than 12 with under seven to play. Dixon. Smith fakes the three, lays it off to Quinette. Good recovery by Eastern. And good movement by Idaho there. King buries it as Quinette hits him with a pass. And there's those key three-pointers Idaho keeps hitting. King with 11. With 11 and earning more minutes for next game. Inside of Cleese, backs it down on Smith. This is a tough matchup for Smith, really a three-man, but he's had to play out of position at Idaho. Three on the way. Oh, my, Allegre. 19 points. He leads all scores in this game. And a big three-pointer right there by Allegre. Came off the Cleese assist and knocked it down. Dixon probing, penetrates, countered, and he's fouled. Mikey Dixon. And that's going to be on Ellis Magnuson, his third. Well, I don't know. If they called that on Magnuson, that should be a non-shooting foul. Yeah, and that's what Coach Riley's talking to the rest right now about. He wants to know why why they counted that basket. Yeah. You saw Magnuson way out, and Dixon was still on the move. Lobby for the next call is what David Riley's doing as Dixon will roll in the free throw. And we were just talking about Dixon, and he was stepped up and now got a, three, you know, a bucket and a free throw. Old, a new fashion three and old fashioned three. Magnuson takes it to the window and can't finish. He went right back at Dixon. Yeah, and Magnuson felt that reach, and as soon as he felt Dixon reaching, boom, he went right into his body and got on the hoop, got on the rim. Well, that's a young man that's not afraid of contact, was an all-state football player in Southern Idaho at Bora High School, and a good one. Yeah, had a great freshman here at Eastern, kind of struggled his sophomore year, but he's He's picking right back up, playing great. Just the free throw. Again, one of those stories intertwined here. His dad played football at the University of Idaho and was a good one there. Can't get it to go. That hurts. It hurts. Nine point game though. Anybody's game at this point. Salee, Dixon, his own defense again. Dixon trying to dribble through it, lays it off to Salee. Kind of out of control, Idaho with, with it. Christensen with the offensive rebound, gets a second chance, counter and he's fouled. Idaho looked just completely discombobulated on that play. The ball was flying around all over the place. Pops into the hands of Christensen, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. And Christensen did a great job using his size, you know, pushing Magnuson under the basket, able to get it. It's tough to push him out, able to get the and one bucket. Might have got away with the push off on Magnuson. Free throw is good, a 71% free throw shooter. When your big man can hit free throws, that's a bonus. And it's all of a sudden down to a six point game. And if you're Eastern, you can't settle here. You got to stay aggressive, keep working the ball down low. Price down the lane, and that went off of Christensen. But Price trying to put it on the deck, trying to mix things up that time. Give Idaho a lot of credit. They could have folded up the tent and left a couple of times. They are not 
going away. Landek to trigger for the Eagles. Throw it over the top to Allegre. King trying to fight through a screen down the lane. Offensive foul. Great. Stum. And I mean, he has some younger guys too. They were starting three freshmen at one point at the beginning of the year. And so a bright future, and he's done a fantastic job so far. Well, he's got his hands folded on his chest, trying to see if his team can get a stop. Dixon with a hesitation, and then he tried to go through the lane and turned it over. Idaho continues to try and dribble through this zone defense. Yeah, the refs have been pretty consistent. They're, le they're letting them play unless it's a, a hard foul. They're going to let them play through it. Big possession here for the Eagles. They're all big when we get under five to go in a tight game. McLeese finds Bergeson. Three not there. McLeese pushed off to get the foul. We're going to walk down and shoot the front end of a one and one. McLeese didn't like the call. No, he thought he beat his guy. His guy tried to box him out. He was able to get around him, and he picked up the foul. Well, David Riley made a great point. He talked about Christensen pushing Magnuson is what he was saying under the last time down the other side and got away with it, and now he's trying to get an explanation here from one of our officials. Christensen the front end of the one and one, and he hits it. As I was saying, it's bad enough that the foul happens, but now it's a one and one, and Christensen the opportunity to cut this down to a four-point lead. Can't get that one to go. One of two, 10 of the game for Christensen becomes the fourth Vandal in double figures. Ferguson fouled by Smith out front, and that'll be the front end of a one and one. It's the seventh team foul. Kind of a silly foul there by Smith. It was, I mean, Ferguson, smart basketball move right there. Just the defender got his hands right into his body. He just ripped right up through and no choice but to foul. That's the proverbial getting caught with your hand in the cookie jar there if you're Smith. And now it comes down to free throws for both teams. Who's going to be able to make them these last five minutes? So the front end of a one and one for Bergeson. He got, and we'll get the bonus here. This is a key free throw, even though with four and a half to go, it makes it a three possession game. Yep, Rattled two, and falls. Two big free throws right there. For Bergeson. Seven of seven for the line. He hasn't missed one today. Seven point lead. Dixon. Into Christensen. And that's where Eastern wants Christensen to dribble out. They don't want him inside. He has the height advantage right now. Salee penetrates against Landick. Ecclees with a great job to come on the help side defense. And I don't think Salee saw him coming. No, good rotation by Ecclees right there. Allegra got a mismatch with Dixon inside. Ferguson picks it up. Vandal scrambling on defense. Eastern trying to take advantage, and Venters will launch a three, and that's how you do it. Steal Venters, 19th point of the game. I mean, what a what a great shot. Great timing. Came off the pick, popped out, and with his length, he's able to shoot over his defender. He's had a great shooting night. Dixon down the lane, 17 in the game for Dixon. And an eight point lead here. Again, stops critical. Now come out in a trap here, Idaho. Landek has it stolen by Salee. And that's what Idaho needed. They needed a quick turnover. Zach Claus calling a play call now. Dixon to King. Off to Salee. Down to Christensen. Bodies Price to the window, blocked by Price. Salee fakes his man by and can't get it to go. Christensen with a rebound. Big rebound right there by Christensen. Keeps it alive again. It's the best game he's played all season for Idaho. Smith down the lane, floater the window and scores it. First two point shot of the game for Smith. He's got 14 and just like that, it's six points again. Six points, two free throws, quick turnover and a bucket. Idaho is not going away. Venters. Now to Bergeson. 
Throws it to Venters with a backdoor cut up and in layup. Salih lost him on the defense, and Steele's got 21. Good play right there by Eastern. Took their time. They've been overplaying Steele for that three-point shot. He was able to go back door and get a two. Dixon to the window, gets fouled. And we'll go to the free throw line. I think Landick has called for that one. He is. That'll be the fourth one on Landick. And that was a good foul right there by Landick. You know, if you don't foul him, you know, Dixon has a wide open layup. He already had contact with him. Now you got to just make sure he doesn't get the ball up on the rim. It's a good gamble. The way he's shooting, though. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, he's, he's made 19 straight this weekend. You, you, you have to figure even a great free throw shooter is going to miss one. Yeah. Again, Idaho gets an opportunity to score without the clock running, and that's big for them. It's a big free throw here. Cuts it to a two-possession game. Boy, he's only rattled one here. 19 for Dixon. 10 in the quarter half, I should say, and knocked out of bounds. It's the full court pressure here by the Vandals again. Yeah, and if you're Eastern, you probably don't want to get in that corner because they're going to trap and you have nowhere to go. You're going to try to maybe look at your bigs flashing. Into Venters. Now we got a foul called. Boy, and Zach Claus can't believe it. That's a tough one. You know, the, the ref was behind him and was able to see it. Just, you know, you're trying to get that steal. You're pulling out the guy's hip, trying to get around him. You know, they usually let that go, but. So walk down and shoot free throws, and they send an 81% free throw shooter and steal Venters to the line. And that is the front end of a one and one here. He is such a smooth stroke. He does. Yeah, the net barely moved on those two free throws. 23 in the game for Venters. It's a remarkable story. He grew up in Ellensburg. How do you learn how to shoot playing outside in Ellensburg with the wind blowing all the time? <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah, doesn't affect him. And now that he's inside with no wind, heck yeah. Yeah, and he's, I mean, from his freshman year, I know he's still fresh, but with, uh, you know, he's been here a couple years, he's definitely grown. I mean, he wasn't this big, and now he's big body, big frame. Christensen with a putback follow. Boy, Dixon's trying to drive, score baskets, but he's also trying to draw fouls for three-point plays here. Six-point game. Idaho needs a stop with 1.47 to go. Eastern's going to take their time here. I would too. See if we get Ventures for a down screen or, or something. 10 on the shot clock here, Bergeson. Down the lane, cleared him out, and what do we got? An offensive foul call, Dixon drew it. And that'll be three on Ryland Bergeson. Bergeson driving here. That's a, you know, it's a good sell. You know, it's a tough one. Dixon, screen coming, he goes the other way, and what do we got? A blocking foul going to be called, and boy, David Riley's not happy, and one of his coaching staff members just grabbed him and said, stop, and David Riley, like the good neighbor kid down the street who never toilet papered your house, just looked at the referee, shrugged his shoulders like, what was that? Two more for Dixon. And this is the guy you do not want to send to the line. No. Last guy on this team. Has the opportunity to cut it to a four-point game. And that's as close as Idaho has been in the second half, if he can make this. Landek comes in. Cleese comes out. Each team with two timeouts. David Riley reminding his team of that. Four point game now. 21 for Dixon. 10 of 10 at the line. Full court pressure here by the Vandals. Landek 
Ahead to Price, skips it ahead, Allegre. And Christensen fouls Allegre, who's a 59% free throw shooter. And that's they, a smart foul. Yeah. Third foul on Christensen, but they didn't waste any time. As soon as Allegre got the ball, they fouled him immediately. Last of the one and ones, ninth team foul here. This is a big free throw for Allegre. With 19 points in the game. Both coaches are really working right now. He missed the free throw. And the rebound is grabbed, and here come the Vandals. 105 to go here. Smith, Dixon. Boy, he almost had that stolen away. Idaho having trouble. They'll get it to Dixon now. 10 on the shot clock. He runs into Smith. Between the wickets with a dribble, and what do we got? Zach denies him the basketball. They've got Ferguson on him. Might be their best perimeter defender. Throw it into King. King against the Cleese. King back to Salee. Three on the shot clock. They're going to have to do something. Quick steal by Landek. Mason Landek with a steal there. And now they're in, they're in double bonus now. Yeah. So he gets two free throws. Good shooter. Good defense possession right there by, by Eastern. Good switching there. So it's two shots from here on out, and Landek is really good at 85% from the line. Well, the Vandals just, just didn't get the ball in the right player's hands. They were trying to get it to Dixon. They couldn't get it to him. Still a lot of basketball to be played. Comes down who can make them, you know, and Landick still has one more, but yeah, two players going hard. Second free throw on the way. He got the second one. So the Eagles just one of their last three at the free throw line. Landick with seven. Eastern quickly the other way. King inside to Christensen for the jam with 33. Both teams well over their scoring average here in a very entertaining game. They'll bring it into Steele Venters. You don't want to foul him. Anderson back into the lineup to put pressure on, and now they will foul him. They were trying for the steal until they got in the front court, and now they're going to play the long game. Hopefully somebody misses a free throw or two. I know foul on Devontae Anderson, his third personal. And that was good. They, they went for the quick steal, and then you got to get the foul. Tremonte Anderson's third as Ventures hits the three. Ventures, Ventures is 24 points in this game and three for three from the line. Yeah, he's having himself a fantastic game. And it's been a quiet, I mean, it's been a quiet 20 points. 25, Christensen for the Vandals with Price, Allegre, Ventures, Landek, and Bergeson, a little bit of full court pressure here, and then they quickly jump back out of it. They'll hand to Dixon, drives down the lane, Dixon to the window, he got it and he's fouled, are you kidding me? How did he get that shot away? That was a tough shot, got That's into exactly Price's body. That's exactly what you said they couldn't allow to happen. Dixon gets his head down, gets contact, throws it up, not even looking at the hoop oh. and made it. Are you kidding me, look at that. Oh, wow. And yet another free throw, 24 in the game for Dixon. And just like that, two point game. Yeah. Well now, even if you don't get the steal, come up with a foul and they're gonna foul. McLeese and Zach Claus, I think, wanted his team to let this play out a little longer in the backcourt. 
Third. Yeah, you don't want to let it play out too much just for, for the fact there's, you know, there was 17, now there's 15.9 on the clock. But, I mean, what a, what, a, what a great finish right there by Dixon. I mean, he's, since he got back in the game this second half, he's made all his free throws. He's making his layups. I mean, just what a huge, huge player he's been for Idaho today. Cleese at the line today, two of two, 83% on the season, and he rolls it in. And this is the big one right here. This is, you know, either a two possession game or a one possession yeah. game. And I always, I always think about this. Do you foul to make sure they don't make the three pointer? Or I'm, I'm not a fan of that, but I know more coaches are starting to do that. Yeah. Got the second one. So now what do you do if you're the Vandals? 13 points in the game for Linton. Cleese, he'll come out of the lineup. To me, you get the you get the fastest two you can. Yeah, you get it, you get it as quick as you can. And you try it again. Anderson lays it off to Smith, will elevate for a three, left it short, wouldn't go. Rebound fought for, grabbed that time by Allegre, and with 6.3 to go in a four-point game, it would take a major miracle for Eastern Washington to lose this contest. Yeah, good finish right there for Eastern. Good box out. We talked about it. They had to, they had a box out. They had to slow Idaho down, and they were able to do it the last possession. Smith had a look at it, and he's hit four three-pointers in this game. Allegra at the free throw line. Got it. His 20th point. Looked pretty good for a free throw shooter at 59%. Vandals trying to get it into the front court. Ball tipped away by Bergeson. And yeah, now if you're Eastern, you just you let him catch it, keep him in front of you. Don't even reach for the ball. No. You can almost stand in the key. Contest the pass and let him get the bucket if you want. Smith comes off, will shoot the three. Got it! 